Hello, I'm Sandra, and today in my semi-homemade kitchen, amazing food made easy. I am celebrating the flavors of France. It begins with a bistro classic for Zay salad with Dijon vinaigrette. For the entree, I have something sophisticated yet simple. It's my spinach stuffed baked sole and an amazingly easy artichoke ratatouille. For dessert, a velvety cherry cloth fouti. And for cocktail time, it's a champagne toast with a twist, Sandra's French 75. And finally, a shimmery golden tablescape will elevate this entire French celebration. Cooking French food can be exceptionally easy if you do it the semi-homemade way. A lot of people are afraid to cook French food, but can I just tell you, it is so simple. Now, I'm starting my artichoke ratatouille with some eggplant. This is just a small eggplant going into a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Now, ratatouille is one of those dishes that people go, ratatouille, do I like that? I don't know, do I think I like that? I don't think I like that. It's impossible not to like ratatouille, and here's why. You can use any vegetables that you like when you make it. It is basically a vegetable stew. That's what it means, ratatouille, it's a vegetable stew. Now, my next ingredient is going to be peppers and onions. This is a frozen pack of all three peppers, green, yellow, and red, and onions are in here. And that's what I mean by anything that you have in your fridge or freezer when it comes to a vegetable can be used in ratatouille. Therefore, you are gonna be the one that determines its flavor, and that is why it is impossible not to like it. It's your dish. Thick vegetable stew, how good is that? To this, I'm also gonna add artichokes. These were frozen artichoke hearts, but of course you can use the canned version. Now to this, I wanna add some heat and some flavor, so a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes goes in here, and then garlic. So if you use other vegetables other than the ones that I have here, just remember, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper and one tablespoon of chopped garlic. You're gonna let that cook down for about five minutes just until your eggplant gets soft and the other vegetables heat up. Look at how colorful that is. Salt and pepper. But think about it, you could put green beans in here, you could put asparagus in here, you could do summer squash, that would be gorgeous. Any vegetable you want. This is probably the most versatile dish, side dish that you can make. And if you put the vegetables in here that your kids like, they are gonna love the word ratatouille. And now for the ratatouille, I've got one more ingredient to add to that, and that is my tomatoes. These are just pre-chopped tomatoes from the can. We all have this in our semi-homemade pantries. Give that a stir and turn the heat down on this. You want it to simmer away for about 20, 25 minutes. So this will be done when the fish comes out and you have made a great fast dinner in under 30 minutes, huh? But first, a little bit of basil into this ratatouille. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing. I love ratatouille. When you're adding herbs to your ratatouille, you can really use anything you like. You can use thyme, you can use oregano. I'm using basil here, I love the smell of it. And I'm not gonna cut it too finely. I just want kind of a rustic dish. It smells unbelievable in this kitchen. I wish you were right here with me. Stir in all that fresh flavor from the basil. You're gonna let this cook for just a minute more. Oh. This is a great menu. Lid goes back on the top. And then some ratatouille, how about that? See, it's fun and easy to cook French food if you know what you're doing and how to use your pantry.